Hey guys, Waffle on Fire here, and today we are going to be playing. Not playing. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of secret features we have today. Alright, so, uh, to actually you guys know that a new update came out, blah blah blah. And this is a secret feature video. Alright, so starting with number. Uh, number oh, no. Okay, guys, so, as you guys know, snow golems, they look like that. Everybody knows that, right? Okay. Now we we'll make the snow golem turn, and if you take, all you have to do is take a prevent regular shears, and then shear him. <laughs> and as you guys can see, he becomes derp mode golem. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> it's kind of funny though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, as you guys can see, you can just have a giant freak, a giant army of these. Just like a billion, just a, like you can like you can confuse everybody on a, like a server or something. With just like a billion of these, you know, just like running around, becoming derp goals. <laughs> and you guys can see, yeah, you can just like run around, becoming derp golems. Everybody's a derp. <laughs> A guy walks into your house and he just sees this. He, even if you have like diamonds on the wall, I trust me, he's just gonna walk away. <laughs> I uh, uh maximum amount. <laughs> just a bunch. <laughs> Different problems. Okay, guys. So uh, our second feature here is well, back then you, back then, what you would do is you would. Get some, uh, get some levels, and then you will put silk touch on your shears to get items, well, such as cobwebs. Well, as you guys see, you can't do that. But as of this update, you you can't do that. But you don't even need silk touch anymore <laughs> because uh, they drop on their own. You guys can see, you know, so if. if you find an abandoned mine shaft or something like this, which is fake, obviously. But you can you can easily just, you know, make yourself some shears and then, you know, take all the cobwebs you want. Make a trap in your house or something. Okay, guys, moving on to the next. Uh, all right, so moving on. Wait, so that was one, two, three. Okay, moving on to uh, feature number four. Is uh, so this one you already created. All right. So basically, uh, end crystals. Everybody knows about these. They're not sacred features. But uh, I'll have you guys know that you can break the bedrock and you can put any block you want. You know, wall, new blocks, purple bedrock, diamond blocks, carpet. Uh, unfortunately, you can't break uh, carpet apparently. Uh, I guess you can't break stuff that's like half. But uh, as you guys can see, if it's not on bedrock, if it is on bedrock, it doesn't do any damage. Wait, right? Okay, well, obviously it does damage, but it doesn't do any damage to the floor. As you guys can see, it does no damage to the floor, just the uh, surrounding area. You guys can also, you know, put some other creative stuff under here, such as, I don't know, a dragon head, uh, even a sign that says, like, don't touch or something, you know, so everybody can, like, be warned, like, don't touch it or you're probably gonna die. So be like, oh, don't touch, what does that mean? Oh, uh, oops, you know, and then they die, you yeah. uh, know. So that's secret feature number four. That you can put items under uh, the. You can destroy the bedrock and put a different item. Oh, you can also place some. They want uh, you know, like waffle, but no one's really gonna do that because you know you can't really break bedrock in um, survival. But you can place it on uh, obsidian, and you can you can break obsidian in survival. So that's that's nice. 
Okay, guys, so sticker feature number four, six, and seven <laughs> is uh, so sticker feature. Uh, can I make it raining so like all the snow goes to die? Okay, right on the snow. Uh. Okay. So if I go in. And I just do uh, as you guys can see, secret feature number five is that both um, skeletons are now aggro. Like not like when they're not aggro, which means like they're not fighting anybody or anything. Um, they hold their bows to the side, as you guys can see. But obviously, when they turn aggro. They start shooting at you, and now here's another secret feature. They start moving back and forth. Cause they are, yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> you guys can see that RKO no skill move. Also, oh god. Uh, also, uh, if you guys can see this, I'm not sure if you guys can see. Watch this in the video, but uh, if you hit a skeleton, I think you can see the hearts. I'm not sure. Uh, you can sometimes see the hearts. I'm not sure if you guys saw the hearts. But now there's new hearts effects. Like in, um. Like in, uh. 1.9. Which is really weird. Because, you know, there's like no purpose to that. But, that's secret feature number. 7, I believe. Uh, so, it's. Uh, so, moving on to secret feature. Number eight, nine, and ten. Okay, guys. So basically, everybody knows about uh, Lika, right? You fly with them, bada bing, bada boom, done. Now, secret feature number. Well, it's supposed to be secret feature number eight, but uh, secret feature number eight consists. Of you having have a heart. Um, well, you don't need to have a heart, but uh, if you want to like test this on your own, you can obviously do that. Uh, but you're gonna need the help of uh, half a heart potions and poison potions. Okay, so basically, all you need to do is jump off a high area, go into an area fast enough, and then that's a new death message. While four and five experience kinetic energy. Which, if you guys don't know what that is, I think it has to do something with magnets. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, yeah. so those are all like eight secret features we have for today. I right, so remember to like the video if you liked it and subscribe. Alright, guys, I make videos like this, and also I'm learning how to use a uh, share play, which is nice. Oh, I gotta love this. Yes. What is life? <gasps> also, so you can feature number uh, nine. If you press, I, th I believe it's R3. Oh, different between the joysticks. R3, and you're flying. You get this new, uh, which I believe it makes you go way faster, uh, which is nice. Uh, do you guys have the Elytra? Yeah. Also, when you land, it makes you shift. So, if you're if you're planning to die bomb into flight blocks, it's, it's not a good idea. Uh, you guys, anyways, you guys, that's all we have for today. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it.